Well, there we are, some pleasing models. My hope is that the small producers, independent producers, who are making these uh, for us are able to continue and find it worthwhile to continue. That's uh, David Hippie of uh, Houston Gate Locomotive Works, uh, who makes these models, these kits, as well as uh, doing a lot of other servicing and offering spares for Garden Rail. Andrew Bell of Andel Models, who's doing the cast resin uh, kits and models and a few others. Don't know about Binny Engineering. And uh, so one's in Scotland, one's in Nelson. And uh, the person I mentioned before, I think it's another David, Direct Train Spares, Burnley, Lancashire. Small cottage industries uh, providing a bit of competition for the big main manufacturers and also a bit of variety and um, meeting the needs, I guess. They are enthusiasts, they've seen a need and they're filling that need. But let's just hope that it's worthwhile enough for them to continue so that we can benefit from it. Well done, guys. Now that I've uh, got a few bits and pieces of rolling stock, this is going to be uh, a review of sorts. Just recently I've completed a couple of kits from Houston Gate Locomotive Works and I think you may have noticed I was very pleased with how they went together. I've got uh, the chassis and I'm going to complete, complete the body for a little. Diesel Outlane Loco and the other things I've made are um, two off of a wagon and a box van. These are MDF laser cut kits and they go together very well uh, and the wagon is about £21 including all the bits that you see there and the van, I've not fitted the roof yet, is £17.50, £75 sorry. The thing about MDF is that it's like a sponge to water, maybe not quite like a sponge but it does absorb water so they really do need to be painted well. So the greatest amount of time in the construction of this has been in the painting of it. Um, this has got uh, the grey is actually an undercoat or primer. It's got about four, five coats of that, and then two to three coats on top of that of a matte varnish to seal the primer. And it must be painted, it must be painted well all over or you're going to have problems with it outside absorbing moisture and I've got to touch it up in a couple of places. So that's the thing that uh, I'll have to bear in mind in future in terms of uh, you know, price and timing. But if you're on a budget it's a good way because if we take a ready-made kit, this is an AccuCraft, obviously <coughs> it's a robust plastic kit so it's naturally waterproof. Uh, I think it's got cast bearings here. Uh, so it's got a little bit more relief, a little bit more detail. The other thing is it comes ready pre-printed with uh, all the lettering and signage on it. So you have no painting to do. Uh, no adding of stencils because these aren't complete without some sort of lettering or stencils I guess. Uh, and that currently is selling for £41. So a higher level of detail, no work to be done in painting, naturally moisture resistant for an extra £20. Another thing I didn't put together, I bought this ready made, I bought this ready assembled uh, for £31 in cone. It's Andel models. Andel are in uh, Nelson, which is next door to Cone. This is a pot cast polystyrene resin material. So the advantage of that is that it can have a higher level of detail. Um, I'm not sure whether this was a one-off prototype or whether it is exactly the same as the current model that I found on their website, which costs £26. So £5 more 
but if it's self-colored, it's self-colored like this and higher level of detail. Uh, so two things there, you don't have to worry about any moisture absorbency with cast polystyrene. You can repaint it if you want. Uh, you certainly would have to add some lettering details, um, but it, uh, you know, it, it, it's five pounds more, so it's within the same price range as the Houston Gate, uh, and apparently goes together quite well, um, and comes complete in the kit at that price. So quite, what would I say? I would say there's some competition. And their models also send up sell Binny. I've not seen Binny engineering kits. They seem to be of the same order of pricing from what I can see. So Binny must be looked at as well. And then if we compare to vans, well, you've got a £50 van from AccuCraft, £46 at discount there, and a £17.75 van from Houston Gate Locomotive Works. Right, I got this second hand, which is why I'm the owner of an Acrocraft van. Some of the detailing bits have fallen off. And I bought this one. And the reason for the purchase is it's a lower cost way of getting into um, and getting some rolling stock. Because if you're buying quite a few of these, two out of every hundred pounds, I don't know how many of those you can get out of every hundred pounds, and if you enjoy building, then um, you're going to get the fun of building it as well as saving some money if you're building up a, a rake of something like that. So kits definitely worth looking at. Bear in mind that hazardous events such as sanding of MDF creating all that dust, spray painting creating all the fine overspray, unless you're using a spray booth and so there are some disadvantages to building it yourself which is uh, you know you're dealing with all those bits of materials that's just my quick look then at what I've done one way or another by experimenting with these different items from different manufacturers looking at second hand I've managed to build up uh, a few items of rolling stock the problem is I think I'd have to work out whether they were representing narrow gauge. I think all of these represent narrow gauge. Yes, that's right. I think they do. Thank you. Any comments you have on this or the Binny engineering or any questions you have, I'd be pleased to respond to.